Welcome to VIP TV, South Florida's number one lifestyle and entertainment TV show with your host, Anna Maria Reyes, Jennifer Riley, Melissa Garcia, and Jenna Stoffer. I'm Jennifer Riley, and today on VIP TV, we're taking you to Florida Supercon before heading to dinner with DJ Irie and then checking out an epic pool party. All that tonight and more on VIP TV. Hi, and welcome to VIP TV. I'm Anna Maria Reyes. And I am Jenna Stauffer, and today's episode of VIP TV starts out in a very super way with our very own Wonder Woman, Anna. That's right, Jenna, because I never miss an opportunity to dress up when I work these super cons. Everyone's in costume and in character. It's a whole lot of fun, and I got to interview some pretty cool celebs as well. Check it out. I feel like I'm inside one big comic book right now. I'm Anna Maria Reyes, AKA Wonder Woman with VIP TV, and I took a break from fighting evil to come to Supercon in Miami Beach. Now this is the largest Comic Con in South Florida, where we're gonna find the best in comic books, celebrity guests, pop culture, cosplay, and so much more. Let's go. I came across some killer robots right here. Yeah. <laughs> now talk to me, what exactly is a killer robot? Killer robot is a machine person from another dimension who has come here to Earth to spread and what are we spreading? A message. Yes. We got a movie coming out July 14th. Killer robots crash and burn. Awesome. And what's the movie about? Crashing and burning, baby. DDP Yoga came to me out of necessity and created DDP Yoga mainly for people who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga. I never developed this for yogis. They got all the yoga they want. I've often said that yogis are very namaste. DDP Yoga, way more TNA. And I mean, not that kind of thing, a tone and attitude. There you go, that's what I thought. Talk to me about your role on Star Trek. First of all, when people still see you to this day, do they still call you by checkup sometimes? Well, yeah, once in a while. You gotta understand though, that's 50 years ago. Yeah. I was 31, I'm gonna turn 80 uh, this year. Wow, you look great. How do you feel being here in Miami? Oh, I love it. Miami's awesome. It's a great place to visit, as Will Smith, Will Smith says. <laughs> right. But yeah, I love Miami. Uh, a lot of great people out here. You know, we shot uh, Keenan and Kel in uh, all that in Orlando, Florida, which is real close to Miami. So shout out to Florida. We like Florida. Yeah. I'm with Brianna Hildebrand, who was in one of the biggest superhero movies of the year, Deadpool. Now talk to me about how it felt to be in such a huge film. Um, it felt thrilling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think any of us expected it to be as big as it was or is. So uh, yeah, it definitely was surprising that it did so well. These lovely folks from AU Real Studios are here at Comic-Con having a really cool setup with some virtual reality. Talk to me about it. So we're here collaborating with Creature Entertainment. We used one of their comic books, Tommy, to create a virtual reality comic experience. So we've been getting a good, um, a lot of good feedback from it today. We're with Robert Picardo. Now you have so many iconic roles. You're very known for Star Trek as well as other roles. Which has been your favorite role to play and why? Oh gosh, um, probably the cowboy in inner space um, because I think I was every woman's nightmare of a guy she meets at a bar who will not leave her alone. <laughs> well, listen, now that I've met you, you're going to protect me from anybody who tries to hurt me, right? That's right, because I am fighting all evil here and always. Cool. Well, that's great. <laughs> well, then I, I, next time I go to a bar and act like the biggest jerk in the world, I want to have you next to me. So if I get if I get hit, you can... Well, you, you don't want me next to you because I'll be protecting the women who you're being a jerk to. Right, you know, I did not even <laughs> think of that. How did you feel when you won your first championship? I was pretty elated. Um, it's just a shame that uh, you don't hear much about the guy that I won the championship from. Um, his name was The Rock. Uh, yeah, you don't hear much about that guy. Anymore. Not at all. Yeah. Who is that? It would be a nice rub if he went on to do something great with his life. Uh, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. It was outstanding. It was. It was a great. It was a great moment, and a lot of people still recall it fondly. I think it was. Uh, I voted the, the greatest moment in Raw, in WWE Raw history, which is really saying something because they've had, uh, uh, I think, 2,000 episodes, and that was voted the greatest moment. So it made a lot of people feel good. 
a lot of people escape from their everyday problems, which I think well, a big reason why we have conventions and things of this nature. We had a super time here at Florida Supercon, and it was cool interviewing stars from Star Trek, Nickelodeon, Deadpool, professional wrestling, and so much more. Now these people are lining up behind me for the costume contest after the show, and I think Wonder Woman's got to participate. For more information, check out FloridaSupercon.com. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Reyes. We stopped to wet our whistle at the world famous Whistle Stop Bar and Grill in Isla Mirada, Florida. This bar's laid back cheers like atmosphere, stiff drinks, and scrumptious food has made it a staple in the Florida Keys. Let's go inside. We're here with Ryan Crockett, the owner of the Whistle Stop Bar and Grill in Isla Mirada. Now this is such a staple for Isla Mirada. So many people like to come here and kick back with their friends. What do you think draws them here? Well, the bar's been here for 35 years and I just took it over two years ago. So people have been coming here for a long time. And uh, I think now we're finally getting it back on track. And you know, it's, it's a place where you can come in and, and do a sing along at two o'clock in the morning and have drinks with people you'll know. Shane has been bartending here for about two years, and what do you like about it so far? You know, this just is a great spot where the locals come. Uh, we're all kind of on the same page here. You know, you can be from all walks of life, but here at the Whistle Stop, we all kind of get that even playing. Because the food is served late, and I know everybody gets hungry here at a certain time. So talk to me about your dishes. We have food till 3 in the morning, every night. Um, we have pizza. just started pizza again a couple months ago. Uh, small, medium, large. Comes out, I mean, it's really good pizza. Um, nachos are amazing, wings, one of the best burgers I think in town. Awesome. So this is a no frills bar, it has the best, stiffest drinks around and also great food and atmosphere. I agree. We had such a fun time here at the Whistle Stop in Isla Mirada, Florida. Now you know where to go when you want to wet your whistle. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. love the whistle stop and they even film scenes from the hugely popular Netflix series Bloodline there. That's right. It's such a cool spot and I love the laid back chill atmosphere. But every once in a while we also want to dress up and give back to a good cause. So next I'm going to take you to a fancy dinner gala where we also got to hang out with Jamie Foxx. There's a lot of inspiration here this evening going hand in hand with tonight's theme. I'm Anna Maria Reyes with VIP TV and I'm at the Shawbourne Hotel in Miami Beach kicking off Irie Weekend at the Inspiry Dinner Gala, all benefiting the Irie Foundation. Come with me. So this is the 12th year of Irie Weekend, but you're doing things a little different. You're bringing in the glitz and the glamour and who better than Academy Award winner Jamie Foxx to host this event. Now talk to me about what it means to you to be hosting this great event. I mean, this is about DJ Irie. I mean, this is the 12th year, but I've known DJ Irie longer than that. And the fact that we celebrated his birthday yesterday, he turned 23 yesterday, and it's amazing. Really? Yeah, at, at the age of eight or nine, he started this out. And, I, and you know, when they say black don't crack, black enhances. It's crazy. But to be honest with you, everything that he does, it turns into gold. He's got a harder goal, and anything that he's behind, I'm behind, and we will always come and support him. That's right. What can we expect tonight in this gala? It's a lot of fun. But most importantly, to really get information and learn about the incredible work that we're doing and the impact it's having on our youth and having the opportunity for our friends, our family, our community to invest in making our community a better place, invest in giving our kids a brighter future. So if there's someone that's perfect attendance at every Ivory Weekend every year, it is this man right here. He's very serious about helping to create better members of community and society and he uses the light that he has on that and the least I can do is fly out and have a good time and do fun interviews, the pretty women in dresses. And who's got right. it better than me? And that's right, and they don't have to yank or chain too much to come to Miami. Which, speaking of, you just finished filming, and season two of Ballers, right here, filmed in Miami, is coming out. It's talk to me about this yes. season. I think this season's gonna be better than the last, personally. I think we got more depth in the characters. Everything's a bit more mature. Okay. Talk to me about how you got involved. Sure, well, Jerry asked me if I would come and cook this dinner, and uh, I love the guy, and he's got a, he's got an amazing, authentic foundation. And what I do with my food is try to address adults and children at risk of the obesity epidemic and diabetes and all the things that are going on with our food supply. 
Um, and I said, I'll do, I'll do the dinner, but let me cook my healthy food. Now you're an American jazz pianist, but you also have a little bit of rock and uh, some yeah. pop in there. Talk yeah. to me about that. Yeah. yeah, well, I call what I do rock jazz. Basically, I take elements from the guitar world, like Nirvana and the Killers and stuff like that, and I blend it in with the world of Beethoven and the world of Duke Ellington and the jazz world as well. I kind of get a feel for, and then I weave what I do into that and then we have a party. So I, I just published a book that's a uh, New York Times bestseller called The Negative Calorie Diet. It's actually a diet where you don't count calories and the more you eat, the more you lose. Yep. And can you I, teach me some tricks, please, yes, later? I can, I can. Well, I'm happy to be here to support a good friend of ours. Ari has done you know, absolutely wonderful things for the Miami, Florida area for many, many years. I'm happy for him and we're going to always support him. The performances, food, and vibe at the star-studded event were top-notch. And this is only the beginning. As you see, we have a full week of festivities coming up. So go to irieweekend.com to keep up with all the action. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. Hey, it's Anna Reyes, and I'm at the grand opening of the Quest Workspaces Plantation location. Now, Quest Workspaces offers everything you and your business needs, from private offices to formal boardrooms, and even a nap room, a workout room, and so much more. And the best part is, it's only a phone call away. Let's go. We're super excited, um, not just because it's our ninth location, but every location that we that we develop and we build out and we design is has evolved from from our from our original centers and we basically listen to our clients and our customers and we hear what they want in terms of different amenities and flexibility in their space and um, different options and then we incorporate it into our into our locations and I think by far this is uh, our spectacular new sort of hybrid co-working center and I think um, it's been very well received so describe quest in one word family and home awesome innovative what is your favorite part about working at Quest? Um, I like how they like they accommodate everything. I'm so annoying. I ask so much stuff all the time, and it's always okay. There's never a problem, and like I can have conference rooms and like the other centers. I'm meeting the uh, different companies here, and uh, I also have to put the nap room at the top of my list. Just the interaction with the other businesses. Uh, they inspire me. I learn a lot from them. Great networking. And you have something for different price points, so depending on the company or the person's budget, you have something to fit everybody. Right. Absolutely. I, I, there's, there are, you can get started with us and have access to all these amazing amenities, services, events, connections, for as low as $59 a month. And you can become a member and you can be part of the community. And how has Quest changed your life? Uh, well, it gave me a really nice office to work out from, which I didn't have before, so that's very convenient. I used to work in a center where people wouldn't even send hi to each other. And here I can make friends. I just moved to Florida and it's a really good way to meet people. Well, this is my first office and I've always dreamed about having an office as a nightmare. And now I have my own company. I'm doing a startup and it's the dream and they've set it up better than I thought. I had this, this real nightmare about getting an office and having to go to Ikea. Don't have to do that because I'm here. They have the setup. It's nice. You know, I asked for the extra chair. They give it to me. As you saw, no matter what kind of business you have, Quest Workspaces provides you everything you need along with an inspiring environment. For more information, check out questworkspaces.com so you too can have the freedom to work the way you want. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Reyes. The amenities at Quest are unbelievable and what a great work atmosphere. Definitely, I especially love the nap room, it's so mm -hmm. comfortable. Up next, Janice and Jake get to speak to Hollywood icon Burt Reynolds and Rick Derringer. Jake Papalardi here for VIP TV. Yes, we are everywhere, and we are at the Ocean Manor Hotel here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We got Burt Reynolds, the one and only, the greatest of all time. We'll be talking to him. We also got Rick Derringer. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. VIP Television. Talk to a little bit about the award you received. Well, just I was inducted into the Florida Music Hall of Fame, and um, 
I, I said before, I, you know, I'm looking at it as a stepping stone toward the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, but it's a great award. Uh, it was fabulous to have it presented by Burt Reynolds, and uh, it'll be a memory I'll keep as long as I live. The great Burt Reynolds, what an honor. I know you worked with a uh, band, favorite band of mine, Kiss. Yeah. Uh, talk about, uh, you did the Exciter, the solo on Exciter from Lick It Up album. Let's talk yeah. about that. What memories can you bring up about that? Well, just that they're really nice guys. I mean, people are sometimes put off by all the makeup and stuff. Gene has become a good friend over the years, and uh, it was always a pleasure to go in and, and play with those guys. Uh, every once in a while, I'll go in places, maybe having dinner or something, and all of a sudden they'll be playing that song or uh, Demolition by the Tag Team Champion. I was about to ask you about that. <laughs> Demolition, right. That was awesome. So the ones I am a real American. Yeah, real American. <laughs> I'm Rick Derringer, and you're watching VIP TV. Hi guys, Janice here with VIP TV. We're hanging out at Ocean Manor in Fort Lauderdale for a very private and prestigious event that's going on tonight, where I will be interviewing the legendary Burt Reynolds. I didn't handle that well. I said, I just want out. You can have anything you want. Mm -hmm. And she thought that meant everything. Oh. <laughs> and it did. Women have selective hearing sometimes, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> where do you hear from? What? <laughs> My hearing's not selective. I hear almost everything, I promise. Oh, Except if it's no, then I don't hear that. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> what made you can continue to keep acting and acting and acting for so long? Well, I, I have been lucky. I've, uh, I've been busy for 50 years. And uh, that's a little older than you. <laughs> And uh, I've been very happy doing it, and I love doing it. I love acting, and I like directing, and I teach every Friday night. So if you want to come and go to class, you can. Okay, I can do that. In Jupiter. Okay. I'll put you right on the front row. Thank you. There's no other place I'd rather be other than the front row. Yeah. If I could wake up and do uh, Bogey and Bacall and uh, sing it, that's what I'd do. <laughs> but it's, it's really a joy and a, and a charm to be able to entertain people. And uh, he's the best at it. He's the best. He's one of the best. Number one? One of the best? Say you're one of the best or the best? What do you think? No, I'm just lucky. Well, guys, tonight has been such an amazing night. From our interview with the legendary Burt Reynolds to watching the bands play, to staying for the award ceremony. It has been such a humbling and honoring experience to be here tonight, and we're so glad that we got to check it out and that you guys got to watch it with us. Until next time, I'm Janice, signing off with VIP TV. Mr. Reynolds, thank you, sir. Thank you. I am Jenna Stauffer with VIP TV and we are conquering the Florida Keys. Right now we are at the most exclusive group of private luxury properties in Key West, the steam plant luxury condominiums. It is located in the heart of Key West overlooking the historic Key West seaport. Come with us as we show you why this lavish community is unlike any other on the island. We're going to spend some time right now chatting with the Director of Operations, Misha Booman. Misha, it is so spectacular inside this unit. We are in the penthouse loft right now. This place is definitely unlike any other place on the island, and there's also a historical significance in this building, Misha. Well, our name is actually derived from the fact that this was the location of the original steam plant in Key West. It was commissioned in 1951 to provide power just to the city of Key West. So they left the main wall, front wall on the street, and they built the entire building around that. Talk with us about how many units are inside the steam plant. 
There are 19 total units. Right now there are 15 available for rent, but that changes daily. We have the penthouse loft, which is what we're in right now. And these are single floor, two bedroom, two and a half bathroom units. And we have bi-level townhomes, which are three bedroom, three and a half bathroom. And the square footage ranges in each unit between 3,000 and 5,000 square feet. So they're pretty big condos. Every condo has its own deck outside a balcony. It has beautiful views as well as other amenities that no other building has. There is no other place like this in Key West. Each unit has its own private elevator that goes down from the secured parking garage that has a gate that comes down after every vehicle. It's unlike any other place in Key West. The views are outstanding. The privacy is probably what we focus on most here. We might be in the southernmost city, but it sure feels like we're on top of the world here at the steam plant luxury condominiums. I'm Jenna Stauffer with VIP TV. Until next time. I can't even tell you how incredible it was to visit the steam plant luxury condominiums. I know you agree with that, Anna. It was epic. 100%. And speaking of epic, we went to the epic pool party where we got to hang with Dennis Rodman for his birthday. And let me tell you, that guy is a riot. The energy and fun in this place is undeniable. I'm Anna Maria Reyes with VIP TV, and that's because we're at the one epic summer pool party at the Epic Hotel in downtown Miami. We're celebrating NBA Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman's 55th epic birthday party, and it's hosted by Scarface and Ray Donovan star Steven Bauer. That sounds like a recipe for disaster or fun, but anyhow, let's get to it. Tell me about how you feel today celebrating here. Well, it's very lovely, guess what, though? What better place to do it in Miami, right? You're looking good. I'm looking good. Let's make it work, damn it. That's right. All right, that's right. right. So you're turning 55, but you look like no older than like in your 30s. How do you maintain your youth? Uh, you know, some days I look good, and some days I look like a piece of shit. I mean, I've been with Dennis since his last couple of birthdays, as well as his induction into the Hall of Fame, and I will always follow him. We do business dealings for our cigar company with Dennis, but now we're doing Lawrence Taylor. Oh my God, the Pro Bowl in Orlando, Florida. That's awesome. We're gonna have a ball. Talk to me about your involvement with One Epic Summer. Well, it, it actually came about because um, my mom's birthday is tomorrow, and so I really was hoping to be here this weekend, and then Angelo, my old friend, he set this whole event up with his partner. It's one of the best spots in Miami. What's the name of this vodka right here, Rodman Vodka? It's called Dennis Rodman Badass Vodka, you know what? It's been out for a couple of years now. It's been out of Florida, but it's amazing. Guess what, guys? It's six to seal, but you know what, dude? Rappers don't rap about this, but Miami will. It's great to be here at Epic Hotel. It's so nice, I love it. So I'm gonna be relaunching my website, so look out for it, shreewagner.net. We're gonna be empowering women. Talk to me about Ray Donovan. It is one of the most exciting, coolest show, and season four is starting in a couple weeks, but you're still filming, so yeah, talk to me about that. We're, we're still filming, and this season is really, it goes beyond, it pushes the limits and pushes the envelope. But what are you bringing to this season that's different? Well, uh, for my character, Character Avi, um, I lost a little bit of weight. I lost a lot of weight, and now I'm not a hippo. Now I'm like a panther. I know. Look at that. So as Boy, you can man. see, it's never too late. It ain't about me. It's about everyone in Miami. It's about everyone here. I live life. They live life. Let's join together and do one thing: make it work, baby. So when you bring together this surreal backdrop and some superstar icons from the NBA and Hollywood, there's nothing left but having an epic day and one epic summer. Now this event is going to keep happening at the Epic Hotel in downtown Miami once a month with a lot of different stars. So make sure you check out oneepicsummer.com for more information. Until next time, I'm Anna Maria Reyes for VIP TV. Hi, this is Stephen Bauer. You're watching VIP TV. Wow! VIP TV. 
Philanthropy, fun, hearts, and stars. That's what it's all about tonight. I'm Anna Reyes with VIP TV, and we're an exclusive home in Star Island for the annual Hearts and Stars Gala. And this is all benefiting the amazing children's programs for the Little Lighthouse Foundation. So let's go inside, have some fun, help a great cause. Follow me. Now the Hearts and Stars Gala once again is the event of the year. Talk to me about what goes into it to make people come back every year. We've been doing this, this is now our eighth year, and it took a while, we're like a startup company, it took a while to get it to this level that it is today, but for the last several years, it consistently has been well received by everybody, where we have everyone consistently coming back and enjoying themselves. Wonderful, now tell me a little bit about the Little Lighthouse Foundation's mission, and how it's able to get so many volunteers and do so many amazing things for the children. We aid children that have educational, financial, and medical hardships. So we send volunteers to different facilities around the Miami area. It has organically grown. We're with Justin Keener, who just won the Shining Light Award for his contributions and philanthropy. Now talk to me about what this award means and what you did to earn it. So it's a really big honor, and Little Lighthouse, over the last year, we had 7,000 volunteer hours for over 3,000 children. Now, how does it feel to be the recipient of this very prestigious award? I'm very honored. And what are you going to continue to do from now on to help the Little Lighthouse Foundation? We're going to keep helping the kids. We're going to keep raising money. Tonight, we raised over $110,000. We're with Dr. Ivan Rosoko, one of the top lifestyle medicine doctors in town. So now I've seen you supporting various of the Lighthouse Foundation events. Now talk to me about what you think makes them special and why they're so important for people to take part in. Well again, uh, you know, it's nice to see people, it gives them an excuse to come to something where they can actually basically feel good about giving. You know, you come to an event like this, you sit there, you're seeing, you buy something, it's great, it's for charity. And again, it's helping the kids, which is, you know, they're, they're our future. What do you think about this event? Oh, it's fantastic. I'll definitely be back next year. Lucy, I see you at every Little Lighthouse Foundation event, always showing support. Talk to me about how you got involved. I actually started volunteering for them a couple of years ago, and I try to still volunteer a couple of times a month, but Honestly, their organization is amazing. They help little kids, and it's amazing to see the faces on these little children that, you know, they, they actually don't have what we have. As always, this was such a wonderful and happy event, but the best part is it was all benefiting the Little Lighthouse Foundation and all their spectacular programs. Make sure you check them out and volunteer, donate, give your time, check out Little Lighthouse org and also Hearts and Stars Gala website so you can take part next year. Now we're going to go to the after party, but I'll see you next time. I'm Anna Reyes for VIP TV. Whether it's for business or a girls' night out, you'll want to arrive at your next event in VIP style. So check out our unique stretch flat black Camaro or our sleek white Hummer limousines. With their club-like interiors and unique styling, you're bound to look like the star of the event. For more information or to book a limo, give us a call at 954-565-0044. Hairstyle is provided by Elite Group Hair and Color Studio. That's it for this episode. For more information, head over to VIPTVProductions.com where you will find exclusive content, links to our social media sites, and everything VIPTV. Thanks for watching.